So there's some moon rising Venus. Let's see what we have here for you. Sagittarius, I see that you're trying to be optimistic, you're trying your best here with a situation that is overwhelming you or making you feel like, you know, you've got a lot at hand. I feel like you're trying to be optimistic here, you're trying to do your best. You also have, you also have your spirit guides helping you because they can hear your prayers, they can hear your struggle, they can feel it, and they are helping you, okay? Keep in mind, your spirit guides, the universe, is helping you in this um, hard times, because I feel like it could be, um, it's it's not like something bad is happening to you, but I feel like you're, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling overwhelmed with the things that you have to do, or the things that are coming your way. You're trying to be optimistic, you're trying to um, gather your courage and strength to pull through. Okay. I feel like Sagittarius, someone is waiting on you to contact them, whoever they are. Someone that has left. Uh, show me that someone that has left has left because um, they were receiving their karma okay so I see here someone that has paid their karmic debt are waiting for you to contact them but if you you've already closed the chapter on them you've closed the door that's it you, you're done okay so I see here that um, this someone is waiting on you to contact them Let's clarify things. I want to see the... Uh, there's something that you're struggling with. I want to see that first. Let's clarify the story. Your spirit guides are telling you to be open-minded. So I feel like if you are struggling with something, do not be afraid to ask for help from people um, of position to help you, okay? Well, we have the star twice in the deck, okay? All right, so Sagittarius, I'm getting this message here for you that the universe is giving you the things that are being given to you because the universe believes in you that you can do this. No matter how much it feels that it's overwhelming, you can do it. Persevere. Per persevere? I'm hearing persevere or persevere? Persevere. Yeah. Okay. Because the universe is only giving you the things that you can handle. But maybe that you, you are feeling overwhelmed because you can feel certain change coming in, into your energy. And you don't like it. But keep in mind, the universe is telling you that you can handle it. It will not give you more than you can handle. So Sagittarius, you can handle it. Come on, you can do it. You've got the support from the universe because the universe believes in you. That's what I'm getting here for you, Sagittarius. Believe in yourself, Sagittarius. Please do, believe in yourself. Because I, uh, because I see here that you have a lot of potential. A lot of potential here, but you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe. You, you need to summon the fucking beast. Summon the fucking beast. Okay? Because that's, that's the thing I'm seeing here for you. Um, I feel like you are doing the best you can. But I also need you to fucking motivate yourself. Motivate yourself. Motivate yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Okay? Because I'm getting this energy, the judgment here, even in your energy, it's like you need to summon the you, summon that beast within you that can handle things no matter what, okay? Don't don't say, oh, but I'm tired, oh no, I just want a break. No, you fucking don't. Keep going, 
Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You go fucking do it. Keep going. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, remember this player that, uh, you know, that you've separated from? A lot of you are dealing with a Virgo or a fire sign. Um, but remember that player you cut off or you separated from? That's the person that wants you to contact. That's the person that wants you to contact them. They're waiting on you to contact them, Sagittarius. <laughs> and you're like... Hello, we've already closed the door. We've already put chains and on the doors on this connection. What are you talking about? But it's showing me here that this person is waiting on you to contact them. Okay. Close the door, you've closed the chapter on this person because this person is has made you feel like you know it's over. You know, there is no there is no point in going back, there is no point in going over what happened, there is no point getting in contact with this person because it's over, it's over, and there's no reason to contact this person. That's your perception or that's your perspective on the on the connection, okay? So you you are done. You are done. This person has left, so let them leave, you know, it's like, that, that's your, um, that's your thinking coming through. But this person is occupying themselves whilst they're waiting on you. This person is getting, like, uh, a beating from the universe. Uh, this person is being shown your worth after the separation. So this person is almost like, um, now I want Sagittarius because I know Sagittarius was the one. I am fucking dumb for letting Sagittarius go. You are the one that um, got away. You're the one that got away. And they know this. They know this. And they are hoping that you would uh, soften your heart and contact them. But I, had, I don't understand why this person left and then, or maybe you told them that it's over and they left, but this person has actually left, maybe changed locations or even, I don't know, uh, houses, flats, whatever, they are, wherever they are. But then they want you to contact them, they want you to make the first move, which makes no sense. Why is this, why, okay, let's ask that. Why is this person wanting such shares to make the first move? Why is this person wanting Sagittarius to make the first move? <sighs> because they know that you are the one that will have the power to initiate the new cycle with them. They won't be able to. This person feeling stagnant in their energy, so they want you. They know that you can, okay, they know that you can um, almost uh, bring this new, be new beginning or this new cycle to the connection. But the question is, what will happen if you make the first move? Let's see. What will happen if Sagittarius makes the first move towards this person? Tell me this. We got the queen. Wow. 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 This person will be so happy that you contacted them. Look at this. Okay. I'm getting a power couple here, so shares. I know that you might not want to hear about the ex, but look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'll show you. Wait. Look at this. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's why. If you contact this person, I feel like you will have a new beginning with this person, but with their renewed or upgraded version of a person, and then you will have your power couple. This is like fulfillment. This is like stability. Uh, foundation to build your life together and this is a power couple because we have the same um, element of the king and the queen this is like um, 
This is a tough one, Sagittarius, because you have the power here. You have the power over the, the situation with this connection. If you want this person, if you can find within your heart that you could, that you would want this person, if you contact them, this person will treat you differently than they have treated you previously. You have the power to uh, revive this. And this person knows it. That's why they're waiting on you because they don't want to um, make you feel or pressure you or make you feel like uh, they're playing. So they will let you take control. They will let you decide. And that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. Be good.